Shalom family, Shaman Eliah, thank you for joining me at Unsectarian Wisdom, and as usual, I'm a wise, wealthy, rich, celestial being that is loved by the Most High Creator. All right, family, let's go ahead and jump in. We're getting back into the navigator who crossed the ice wall. What chapter are we getting into today? Hold on one second. Let me get back to my uh, right page. We reading chapter 9 today, family. And we might do 10. I don't know. But uh, we'll see. But it's chapter 9. And it's the origin of the human being in the revealing book of Shikai about the other worlds. All right, let's go. The journey to the shifting islands of Thoth went without major inconvenience. Whoa, the, the shifting islands of Thoth. I got to look that up again on that map, family. I got to, uh, yo, Thoth, like, uh. Like Enoch, Thoth the Atlantean. Okay, interesting. All right, that uh, Thoth is an Atlantean. I was just throwing it out. Okay, let me start over. The journey to the shifting islands of Thoth went without major inconvenience. The only strange and remarkable thing was that there was no night. The day faded barely on the horizon, but the first night a full and clear moon appeared in the firmament, and we barely noticed the transition like an eternal sunset of fire in the distance. I saw two iron blue pass. I saw two iron blues pass across the sky at different parts of the last day's journey to the islands of the giants. It was hard to fall asleep because of everything that had been going on in our lives and around us. We were all waiting for the big moment of contacting giants. It was something we could not even imagine. We finally arrived at a fairly modern port perhaps with fewer structures of the majestic in the capital of the ancestral po hold on we finally arrived at a fairly modern port perhaps with fewer structures of the majestic in the capital of the ancestral public but their ships differed quite a lot from those i had seen before a certain decline towards military ships stood out some even seemed to have weapons that i had never seen on top as soon as we descended a man with a very long reddish beard and a woman with a beautiful face and long blonde hair welcomed us. First they spoke with the captain and then introduced us to everyone. Although they were tall, they were no more than two and a half meters tall. It was enough to pass us by several long feet. Stupefied to step on the ground of giants, we shook their hands and followed them. The city was not so silent and that was more like a rural area. The language they spoke there was also unintelligible to our ears. The captain could not speak it either, but the woman who introduced herself as Shikai spoke our language, albeit in a very strange way. Language, albeit in a very strange way, but she was fluent and could make herself understood. We entered the part that seemed to be the center of this village on a remote island in an ocean also hitherto unknown to us. Shikai invited us in. Their houses were domes of different heights. And there were also huge white towers finished with domes on top. In some, there were even figures of giants watching everything. I think I would not want to leave this island without going up there at the top to see that majestic view. To who knows where. I noticed that we were already beginning to naturalize situ. I noticed that we were already beginning to naturalize situations that until weeks ago were unthinkable and that we would surely faint if we found ourselves in the situation we are in now in front of the giants of Thoth without having gone through all of the above. I had in my mind the imagination of barbarian giants with only some basic clothing that covered them but the reality is that this advanced race seemed to come out of some story of parallel worlds. Their attire was colorful and adjusted to their large bodies. We could see later, approaching the central area, that there were thousands of giants of all sizes, but never descended from 2 meters 20 or 2 meters 30. And we have come to see giants as high as 4 meters. Butler told us 
that their race of giants was so important to know our past. Hold on. Butler told us that this race of giants was so important to know our past since there was in them ancestral human blood and pure giant blood of the ancient lands of Anak. He told us that later they would tell us a little of the history of our race link. Okay, taking it back to the Bible. How the ancient and pure giants joined with the ancestral humans to bring forth one of the most powerful forces that ever existed in the known lands to confront the custodians. Known as the Great Tartaria, which could have changed the course of our history forever. And that, in any case, marked a before and after generating radical changes in the known lands as well as in the surrounding worlds. Shikai approached where we were with Butler, talking about this topic that I was trying to follow closely without missing any detail and making a mental note of the thousands of questions that arose in my mind at each advance. I noticed that the giant had in her hands a huge book that she offered me saying, that this would help me to understand much more about the past of our races. As soon as I opened it, I noticed several maps she marked. Oh, as soon as I opened it, I noticed several maps. She marked a special page where our home, the known lands, and its surroundings were specified. Below, below and on the following pages, she also detailed what was known about the lands, their races and history. Again, when I thought I had seen it all, I felt again a fire burning inside me with each page. Stupefied, my face was hard in expression, trying to imagine this new personal discovery. Shikai noticed in my expression that I was sinking in information. She told me not to try to digest it all at once. With time, you will understand and assimilate it. She tried to reassure me. How many lands are there? I went so far as to ask at his expression. With a smile understanding my frustration, 178 known worlds, at least, according to the information we've been able to gather, he commented. But that doesn't count all the lands and islands that exist outside of them. Butler then added, the kind and beautiful giant human, as she went on to summarize, the kind and beautiful giant human, as she went on to summarize a bit of some key topics as she showed me some of the pages of this wonderful and unique book. We stopped at the Anunnaki lands. There her face changed. The Anunnaki race has always behaved in a hostile manner towards humans since the beginning. And he also commented that they were bound by an old treaty with the custodians. Would it be the most awaited moment? Would it be the most awaited moment for me? Would it be the culminating moment where I would know the true beginning of human life, the true origin? I will not get ahead of myself for the moment. I will only say that this conversation, in case the trip itself had not already done so, changed my life completely. I will go on to detail and transcribe this conversation in the next chapter. Hold on, let me see if I'm going to go ahead and read chapter 10. Mm, do I want to read chapter 10? Do I want to read chapter how, how long? Mm, let me think, let me think, let me think. Chapter 10... The domes, the learning of the worlds beyond the ice wall. Uh, oh wait, there's more. You know what? Nah, I'm going to wait on 10, family. I'm going to get 10 next time. All right, family, Shalom, be blessed. And as usual, I'm a wise, wealthy, rich, celestial being that is loved by the Most High Creator. And I'll catch you later, family. Be blessed.